Hi there. Uh, I'm using a new headset to do the commentary for this thing, so if you notice any abnormalities or audio anomalies or anything of the sort, that's probably why, and also usually with these commentaries, I don't do much editing or with sound levels or anything like that. What comes out comes out, and I'm done with it. So, as you can tell from the title card, we're going to look at uh, some footage from uh, Legends of Rasslin for GameCube which uh, I'm playing for the first time in a good long while. Probably since I sampled it for about 20 minutes shortly after I picked it up, uh, I don't know, probably months ago. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to look at a match between the Iron Sheik and Rick Martell. Because like the title card said, why the hell not? And uh, the Sheik's coming out strong. I don't remember who I was playing here. Because it's been a while. But I have been playing, like, you know, with some downtime. You know, and, and especially with the uh, the shitty weather that we got recently. Uh, been playing a bit of uh, GameCube and GBA and stuff like that. And I'll tell you this much about Legends of Wrestling, at least. As... Uh, Get to the early stages, nothing's really going on. Well, nice suplex by Martel there. Let's see if we keep up the momentum. Probably not. Because the Iron Sheik, it was more than being an F machine. But uh, Legends of Wrestling, I find uh, I like better than the Acclaim efforts on uh, PlayStation. That would be, you know, the WWF Warzone added to the ECW games and their. Uh, Let's do Mortal Kombat-esque button combinations to pull off a suplex. Here, you just press a button, you grapple, you press a button, and a, hold a stick down or something, and you do a suplex. And here's the Iron Sheik choking out Martel. And, you know, you know I find the gameplay you know, fast-paced, uh, somewhat arcade feel to it. It's sort of like the old SmackDown games on the PS1. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to turn this into a review or anything because it really isn't. That's not the point of this video. It's just to show off of some uh, footage. And uh, you know, we saw the Sheik attempt a near fall, one count. He managed only. It's a suplex. Oh, that's a nice uh, face slam. Sheik's uh, dizzy. He's trying to come up with uh, more gay slurs and, and, and F-bombs for, for Martel. Or maybe he just took too many shots and he's thinking he's, he's fighting Brian Blair or something. I don't know. Ooh. Were weapons allowed? I don't know. The one thing I noticed, every wrestling match, whenever the... the, the uh, your opponent has the upper hand, they'll always go for a weapon underneath the ring. And whenever we're outside the ring, uh, there's never a count out. I don't know if there are count outs in this game or anything like that. I haven't, play I haven't played too much of it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that much, but... Uh, yeah, Martel is... Uh, ooh, what are we going to do here? Nice. <laughs> I like that. Every so often, they'll distance themselves so you don't have to see the ball shot. That's what WWE should do. Whenever you got somebody doing a ball shot to John Cena, just pan the camera away so the kiddies won't see it at home. I mean, whoever's up at around 10.30 every Monday night or whatever. <laughs> this point, the, uh, you know, the little oval underneath the, uh, the thing, the purple thing, means I'm ready to perform my finisher. Except I don't know how to perform my finisher. At least that by this point, I've, I figured, I've since figured it out there, but... Uh, yeah. So, Mart... You know what? You know, I have to question the competence of this referee, because the arm was clearly under the rope. That should have been a break. But... Fortunately, Shiki kicked out. And, uh... You, you gotta love... Uh, okay, I don't care for the tilt the world camera pan and all that. And, uh, yeah, more shots to the Iron Sheik's head. Every point he becomes less sane and more senile with every passing blow to the head. 
And you gotta love the blood stains on the, the ring, just little red dots. That's uh high end technology right there. And go for a power bomb. And yeah, the game well, yeah, why not? Come on, Tabernak, see trolls is the Those cartoonish, those cartoon, wow, those little screams. <laughs> My God. And we're going for a pinfall. I don't think that's it, though. And I'm not just saying that because I'm looking at the timeline, but uh... yeah. And I think what I was trying to do uh, here. Because, yeah, I guess I'm playing as Martel here, but I think I was trying to pull off his uh, finisher, which was like a Boston Crab. Although he calls it a Quebec Crab or whatever. I, I don't, it's been a while, but. Yeah, so, uh, there you go, Rick Martel. Getting a submission win over the Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik will not be humbling anybody on this day. Not anytime soon there, Sheiky baby. And better luck next time. But if it makes you feel better, I'll pitch you against Hulk Hogan or something. I don't know. Who cares? Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, whenever I got the time or whenever I got, I'm in the mood or whatever, or, you know, busy with anything else, I might put some more stuff like this up on the channel, try to get some more varied content up. I know I'm behind on a few things, but I'm going to have some time off soon. So, uh, if I'm not, whenever I'm not enjoying the outdoors or anything. Uh, probably gonna spend whatever time I can just trying to get as much videos out. I'm behind on the collection videos. Yeah, I should have them more uh, more often than not. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm not gonna start telling the life story here. The the main part of the video is done, long done. So yeah. So uh, if you have stuck around, thanks for watching. Till next time. Take care and good night. Later.